There's a variety of mouse models applied in the CAR T-cell field that each have their specific advantages and disadvantages. One very frequently used uh, model is the cell line derived xenograft in which um, patient derived cell lines are engrafted into immunocompromised mice. Um, the advantage of this model is that the cell lines are established and there is an easy access to these cell lines. Um, also, the, the, the growth of the tumor can be very easily monitored in case they are subcutaneously uh, injected, so they can just be calibered. Also, um, the cell lines can be engineered to express uh, luciferase, so then via um, bioluminescent imaging, uh, the, the, the growth of the tumors can be monitored. Another uh, uh, advantage is that via genetic knockout or knock-in, the target antigen can be expressed or not expressed. So the cell line derived xenografts are very useful, for example, for the study of novel CAR T cell uh, targets. Another frequently used model is the patient derived xenografts, in which um, patient tumor samples are engrafted again in, in immunocompromised mice. And then these tumors are passaged rather over mouse generations than in the cell culture. The advantage of this model is that the biological and immuno or the, uh, the histopathological features of the tumor are better retained compared to the uh, cell line derived xenograft. The biggest drawbacks of both xenograft models is that they, uh, is that they uh, are engrafted into immunocompromised mice. So there is a lack of an endogenous immune system. And here, humanized mouse models come into play, in which an endogenous immune system is present. And the interplay between the tumor cells and the, immune, uh, the endogenous immune system and the applied cellular immunotherapy can be studied. However, to generate these uh, humanized mouse models, um, hematopoietic progenitor cells are required. These cells can be either found in uh, human fetal liver tissue or umbilical cord blood. Also, less pluripotent cells can be found in the uh, peripheral blood of adults. Um, especially for, for adult patients, we don't have access to uh, fetal liver tissue or umbilical cord blood. So we can uh, create humanized mice using um, the peripheral blood. However, um, generating the humanized mice with these cells leads to uh, a very, or usually to a bad reconstitution efficiency and also graft versus host disease is, uh, is rapidly induced.